Hey everyone, so I'm back presenting another utility that I use a lot myself and I'm just deciding to extend it a little bit today and to share it with the world. So here goes, this is Small Menu Bar. It is a menu bar app that you can kind of access inside of your menu bar. I access it with Command Shift G. If you don't have a ton of other menu bar apps, you should be able to see it there. And what this does is it's very simple. It has one unified bar for two different chat apps, ChatGPT and Bard, right? So I type in what is love here and it shows up on both sides. And when I hit enter, it actually submits to both as well. And you can see the difference in response and latency and all that because these are just separate web views. So they're independently operated and you can ask follow up questions like who performed it at SNL. And you can see the differences with ChatGPT being maybe smarter, but then Bard being more in tune with uh, current affairs. So that's great. And there's a couple more things to take note of. If you want to start over with a new session, I just do Command R and that starts over the session independently um, and you can also just continue that over here uh, and then and that that works as well if you have a window manager you can actually move the window around um, expand it contract it uh, it's pretty flexible as well and if you're doing a bunch of work on the side um, while it's still generating you can actually click away and when you come back it's still going right when you come back it's still going so it's just an independently operating app that's just working in the background. And that can be really good, for example, when you're accessing GPT-4. Because these are real web views, you can actually just jump over. You can even use plugins if you want. Um, and whenever they give me access to the other stuff, uh, I will have access as well, even though there's no API access. That's the benefit of the web view interface. So this is the small menu bar app. You can see it's very, very simple, but I find it, I use it uh, dozens of times a day because it's so easy to pull up ChatGPT and then also have it work in the background while I work on other stuff. Uh, Bard itself is a moving target. Uh, I think it has, people have a lot of negative first impressions and I think that will improve over time. So this is just a fascinating way to keep track of Bard versus ChatGPT. Cheers.